It's Saturday, July 17th, and it's a smoky day today. We got fires going on all over the place. Helicopters firing up already this morning. They're getting going. Um, so, yeah, we can really smell it in the air here. Going to be a hot one, too, so we're probably not going to get too far into the afternoon on, on work today. Uh, nothing real specific that we're that we're working at. Uh, we're just continuing to work with this tail cone to make sure we get everything just right. Did discover, um, we picked up the GMU-11 and that is a magnetometer. For those that don't know what a magnetometer does, that is the interface that feeds to our instruments. It's like a, it's like a compass. So it detects you know, north, south, uh, that way and but it's all electronic uh, but it, 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 it senses magnetic uh, disturbance so it, it can do that but that goes there we picked it up and the avionics uh, guy mentioned uh, giving me the stainless steel hardware for it and I said oh we already have the nut plates installed for it and he said well you better make sure that they are not that they're non-ferrous or non-magnetic uh, because you have to use stainless steel hardware when in the mount up. So I took a magnet, stuck it on there, and the magnet stuck to it. So I posted up to the to the group to see if anybody else has come across this and what they're doing. But kind of initially, my thought is we're going to have to drill all these rivets out uh, out from here and these, and then the ones on the other side. We're going to have to take this out. We have to drill out these rivets, these eight rivets, remove those nut plates, and I'll have to order stainless steel nut plates and replace it with that, and then we'll have to put the whole thing back in. But we'll see what we get. Um, but um, yeah, we're just kind of taking it as it goes today. Well, I haven't shot much video today, mostly because um, we have been measuring and double checking and measuring and checking again, measuring and checking again, adjusting, checking, measuring, checking, adjusting, checking, measuring. Uh, we've been working on this all day so far, um, but we are to the point. We are going to match drill the gussets uh, let's see. The gussets that are attached to the cage, that's, a, that's the gusset that comes out, attaches to that longer on. Uh, so we're going to m transfer drill those through the longer on, through the skin, get those cleat coats. We're going to do that on each of those on that side and the two on this side. Uh, so this is a this is a pretty big deal. So this is where, um, once we drill these holes, that's where the tail is going to be. Like I said, we have checked this and checked it and checked it and verified this thing that it's, we're, we're square, we're square all the way down. The angle, where we've got the right angle of the tail versus the firewall angle is adjusted and all checked, double checked. And we have checked for twist and got that adjusted. Um, and when I say adjusted for twist, we're talking like that much of a shim that it takes to, uh, to adjust this. But um, we're about ready to go here. So hope it goes well. Here we go.
Well, here we are at the point of no return. Uh, we got these drilled out and clecoed in the gussets that go through the tail cone into the uh, into the gussets on the cage. So that part is done. Next is we start fabricating some uh, other supports for this uh, for this area. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to be taking off here in a little bit, but we did decide to We did decide we're going to we're going to take this this GMU 11 mount out. We're going to drill out those rivets, drill out the rivets for the nut plates and I'm going to have to order or see if the avionics shop has some stainless steel nut plates and we'll put that back together and rivet it back in. Um, it's, Rand's, Rand says they haven't had any problems with um, GMU, a magnetometer alignment or anything like that using those nut plates, but the avionics guy that we're working with said those, we cannot have those in there. And I did see that another experienced Garmin tech did chime in and said kind of the same thing as is we probably should replace those. Probably be a good thing to do that. So we're at a good spot where we can do that. We've got don't have any top skin on the air on the uh, tail cone, so we can get in there and get that done pretty easy. So we'll do that, and we're gonna call it a day and wrap it up. Wrapping it up for the day today. Um, glad to get this done. Glad to have this part done. This was this was kind of a nerve-wracking deal over the last couple weeks that we've been working on making sure this is aligned and straight and uh, not twisted in any way. Everything is straight, but uh, we got that cleated on and decided to, so I just pulled that mount for the GMU-11, pulled that out, and we'll get the right hardware for that. So, coming up next is we've got to uh, fabricate some Laundron support doublers, or what, I can't remember what they're called. Anyways, <laughs> we, got some, we got some stuff we got to make. support angles. Support angles. Spacer strips. Spacer, all the spacer strips and the support angles. So that'll be the next thing um, that we'll do. But not much to say. I'm trying to think if there's anything they needed to talk about on wrap up. You saw I used that long number 30, but that sure come in handy drilling that inside hole down on that that inside hole in the gusset. That's uh, that was a good one to use for that. But. I can't think of anything else. If you're doing a GMU 11 install, I guess if it matters to you or not, but um, might think about getting stainless steel uh, nut plates for it. But other than that, I can't think of anything else. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, we get to go spend a little time with family this evening. Looking forward to that. And um, yeah, that's 
that's all we got for today. Um, yeah, that's it for now.